Welcome to ACI, the Network Made Simple learning series. In this video, we will cover Module 1, Initial Tasks, Chapter 6, Quickly Onboarding ACI Using the Wizard. In Chapters 1 through 5 of this module, we learn how to perform the initial AP configuration, how to discover and add new switches to enable the automatic configuration of BXLAN, and we also learn how to perform some routine tasks that are important, like fabric upgrades, configuration of basic services, and more. In this episode, we will do all that but even faster by using the ACI First Time Setup Wizard, which is available in ACI versions for the 2, 3, and later. By using this wizard, we will also automatically enable the configuration of ACI best practices in the fabric. Sounds good? All right, let's start. Let's go back to the point where you successfully performed the initial AP configuration, as covered in Chapter 2. Therefore, you can now open your browser, pointing out to the IP address you configured for that APIC, and notice that on the welcome pop-up, we now have a button that says Begin First Time Setup on the lower side of your screen. Let's click on it, and as you can see, we have all the things we covered in the previous chapters, but now easily accessible and configurable from a single wizard. Let's click on the Fabric Membership section first, where you can see the APIC already discovered the first leaf. Just as we learned before, click on Register, add a node ID, a name to it, and then select the appropriate node type for this switch, in this case, a leaf. Repeat the same for every new switch ACI discovers, and we are done. Next step is configuring BGP for our spines. Therefore, click on BGP, add an A as number, select the spines in your ACI network, and you're done. BGP is now configured. Now, we can move to the out-of-band management section. As you can see, all APICs have out-of-band addresses already. You can now select the nodes ACI discovered and specify starting IP addresses in the gateway so that ACI automatically populates the rest for you. I will not do it in this case, so let's go back to the main menu and now I can also easily configure DNS for the whole fabric, the search domain, and even the NTP server I want my ACI site to use. Finally, we can see that the wizard will also automatically configure some of Cisco best practices for you. You can read through them if you want to, but I will cover them at some point in later modules, so stay tuned. Once you click Save and Continue, and proceed with the summary, you can see all those tasks were very easily implemented, and we have the same outcome we covered in chapters 2 through 5. Cool, right? Let's wrap things up then. As you saw in this chapter, there are multiple ways of doing things in ACI, and most of the time we will have wizard options for you that make your life easier. The ACI First Time Setup Wizard is available on ACI versions 4, 2, 3 and later, and it is a great tool if you're installing ACI for the first time. However, if you have a previous ACI version, or if you're adding resources to an existing environment, I would personally recommend you understand the way things work in ACI to have full control and knowledge over any change you made you. So you may want to take a step-by-step -step approach. Thanks for watching.